guys, it's T-Mac from Mike'sOutdoors.com and we're out here today testing the Red Feather Archery's Talon. This is a small game head for rabbits and squirrels and groundhogs apparently. And uh, we're going to test it out on some bone here. This thing is, I mean look at it. It's just, it just looks medieval. I love it. I think it looks bad. And uh, I'm going to shoot this piece of bone right here off this buck I killed last year and uh, I put it on there sideways so there's lots of bone to go through. Let's see what happens. Perfect talon mark right there where it went right through that bone. Same I mean, just that's, a, that's pretty impressive, and I've hit that thing two or three times now, and nothing. I mean, not even not even the tips are even affected whatsoever. They still have a little bit of sharpness to them, but the way that's designed, it's got bone all in the middle of it. Is for small game, you don't want a whole lot of penetrations. So that's what that hole's there. It's kind of got stub nose and it's I mean it, I can't wait to shoot a rabbit with it I really can't okay before the footage that you saw because I know that uh, you're gonna see me shooting and you're gonna see the spinal cord attached to that that hip bone uh, I was just playing with this thing out of my compound bow and I shot and hit that spinal cord and, and we'll show you the footage of that and it just this red hat there this talon just completely severed that spinal cord it doesn't look that dramatic on video but it just com I hit it right at the base of that spinal cord and it just severed it. I mean, it just, it does such a good job. It didn't explode it. It just severed that spinal cord right in half. Mac mentioned groundhog hunting. Um, I lost the footage of it. We had a little technical difficulty, but I'm going to go back out and see if we can get some more. Uh, I did a little groundhog hunting with this thing uh, a few nights ago and with my Iron May set at 60 pounds. And um, I got a complete pass through on about a 20 pound groundhog. And I, should aim for his head. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I hit him in the in the ribs. I hit him right behind his shoulder, like you'd hit a deer, and it passed completely through him, and it went through a stump, and it actually buried to the veins in a stump. You can see the blood still on this uh, on these veins, but it went to the veins in the stump. And uh, what I noticed when I was skinning the the uh, groundhog, you're gonna find you're gonna see a video pretty soon of us eating that groundhog. But uh, what I noticed was his rib cage on the side that I hit him was turned completely in. I mean, just like you, uh, it just punched that hole, and it, when it went through, it punched his liver completely out the other side. His liver was just pushed out the other side. And uh, now, like I said, I got a complete pass through with this head, but I actually, uh, don't tell anybody this, but I missed three times before it hit him. And this head wasn't hard to find. It went, it hit the grass, hit the trees behind him, and I went over and picked it up. So it'll stop, it won't bury, that's a really nice feature of it if you're shooting compound bow. Uh, Tyson shooting his recur or longbow is probably not going to get complete pass-throughs all the time. But shooting that fast iron mace that I'm shooting, I got complete pass-throughs. So. But I found all three arrows that I missed with. And when it hit that animal, it did a hell of a job. Alright, well we've been here shooting the Allen from Red Feather Archery. And it's a small game head, and man, I'll tell you what, that's a, as you can see, that's a mean mamba jamba. And uh, you guys enjoying the close up of like? It's a, it's putting a hurt on his hip target now. And I can't wait. I mean, I'm telling you, I can't wait to thump something with this. Uh, I'll probably have one of these in my quiver along with the other broadheads just in case a squirrel decides to get a little too close to me or bobcat or, or bobcat or coyote you know groundhog groundhog apparently uh but i'm really impressed with this it it, it really does what it's supposed to do and it still feels just like it did when we stuck them on there yeah <laughs> And that's something I'll mention, Red Feather Archery, you go to their website, uh, redfeatherarchery.online.com, uh, redfeatherarcheryonline.com, 
and they have what they call a quiverful special. You can get, um, and I don't know the exact numbers on this, but you can basically get the uh, Talon that we're shooting and the Phoenix together. And I don't know what the deal is, but go to their website, redfeatherarcheryonline.com, and check that out. They call it Quiverful Special. So check that out. I'm going to do like T-Mac. I'm going to carry one of these in my um, in my quiver this year. And when Mr. Bobcat, Mr. Groundhog, Mr. Squirrel, whatever, because I'm possum. bored, possum, whatever, comes by, I'm going to give the old talent a shot. I'm going to try this thing out. So. It was really accurate. I mean, just, just like a field point, man. Just... I was pretty impressed with that. It it really hit where I wanted it to, so I ain't afraid to take a shot. Uh, that's what with I had this thing. Tyson did most of the shooting on this to test this out because he's a, kind of the small game guy here. I am doing some groundhog hunting right now, uh, trying to obtain the elusive groundhog and secure some groundhog meat. But um, I'm shooting it out of a compound bow. I'm shooting it out of my 60 pound uh, iron mace, and it shot just like field point for me. I put it on there and went out and shot, and it was shooting right on. So hopefully we'll have some groundhog footage for you guys. But uh, no problems at all shooting this head out of my compound bow either. So excellent for longbow and excellent for uh, compound bow. This is available in a couple different models. Uh, this is the 100 grain that we're shooting here, 100 grain screw on. And uh, it's available in a couple different models. So be sure to check out their website. And like I said, it's redfeatherarcheryonline.com. And it's important to know that, to tell that they do come in glue on. Yeah, for you traditional guys. For the, I have some wood arrows, and I'm really having a tough time getting or finding glue on stuff. So online, they have the glue on field or the glue on talon point. So that's a talon. You can check this out, redfeatherarcheryonline.com. Uh, you can check out our other video. We tested a, a, a broadhead that they make called the Phoenix, and we are both very, very, very impressed with these heads. I, uh, this gets, this talent gets the Ike stamp of approval. T-Mac stamp of approval <laughs> on both of those. Excellent head. I, uh, rarely, I'm not a smiling type of guy. Rarely will you see me smile this big. That's impressive head. I'm, oh, uh, sweet. I've been looking for head. I've tried them big rubber ones. Yeah. You know, I've tried, I've tried them big rubber ones, and I've tried putting a washer behind my field point. <laughs> That's what I have to like do Stuff like this, usually. and this is, I mean, this is excellent. This is awesome. And small game hunt, if you guys who don't small game hunt, I'll tell you what, like I'm groundhog hunting, dude, I'm jonesing for a hunt. I want to go hunt. I want to go kill something. Try to go kill your groundhog. It'll make you a better shot, and it'll make it'll it'll give you something to do in the summertime. T Mac does a lot of small game hunting too. Hey, I can't sit around and wait for deer season to come around. I'll go nuts. So I got to be out in the woods doing something, even yeah. when it's hot. So, and you know, like I said that. If you, I found out real quick, if you can sneak up on a groundhog, you're doing something. So to hone your skills, get out there and do some small game hunting. Groundhogs are, are the reason I'm groundhog hunting is they're tearing up the property that I'm hunting on. These things are, are they are a nuisance. They are nuisance animals. So get out there and do some small game hunting and use this talent. I'm I'm impressed as hell with this thing. You never heard me cuss in a video before, but I'm impressed as hell with this with this head. This is an awesome head. I do agree. It is one fine head. This is T-Mac. And this is Ike. Remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land, small game and all. And the only way to do that is to hunt them. And with a talent. <laughs> See ya. Appreciate you guys watching. I like good times, good wine, good smoke, and a five-piece bed. And ooh, I can't.